guys, welcome to my channel, Moonflower Tarot. A safe space where you can feel free to leave all judgments at the door, including any self-judgment as well. So happy Lunar New Year um, or the Year of the Tiger. So it is the Lunar New Year today, I believe, um, and all planets are going direct, um, including Venus. So it is going to be time to take action and to really start manifesting hardcore. Um, but also you don't want to rush yourself. You want to be assertive in the way that you are taking the steps to manifest your goals. So you're here because you want to know what to expect in February. Fair enough. So we're going to go ahead and cover um, all kinds of different things like money, career, love, um, you know, whatever it is, anything um, spirituality related as well, if it comes through. Um, and also, before we start, um, if you could just take a moment to like, comment, subscribe, and share if this video resonates with you. It does help more than you realize. Also, very quick disclaimer before I begin. Um, that I must state all my videos and tarot readings are ultimately for entertainment purposes only. So my advice is for you to take whatever resonates and leave the rest behind. I see tarot um, as a way, um, or tarot and astrology as um, tools ultimately just to get to know yourself better and to connect with yourself better. So, okay, with all that out of the way, let's finally start. So here we have three piles, one, two, three. Each pile has a crystal palm stone on top. So pile one, we have this uh, beautiful amethyst uh, quartz crystal palm stone. Next, we have this really soothing rose quartz heart. Uh, and then the third one, we have this um, I believe this is moss agate. Yes, okay, moss agate, um, palm stone, and I like this. It's very earthy. Okay, so we have three different piles here, and um, take a deep breath. Um, think about your February ahead before you choose. Um, if you have trouble deciding, feel free to pause the video, or you can always place your finger on the screen wherever you feel the most heat or warmth radiating through the screen on your finger is going to be the pile for you. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, so if you've made your choice, I'm going to go ahead and start with the first pile, the amethyst quartz crystal, and move the other two piles out of the way temporarily. Okay. Okay, so what do we got for pile one? Those of you guys who've chosen this amethyst quartz crystal palm stone. Okay, so before we get into our tarot, I'm going to pull some oracle cards for you to get some major themes. Let's see, major themes for pile one. Some major themes. I'm going to be pulling you actually. Um, this is an oracle card with deities on it, so any kind of deity, and this is uh, regardless of you know whatever religion you are, this is just um, energy. Okay, so let's see what deity wants to come through for pile one. Okay, so we've got I could be totally mispronouncing this. Um, I'm gonna try uh, Mahavatar Babaji. So we have soul expansion. Oh gosh, I probably butchered it. Um, but anyways, okay, soul expansion. Your consciousness is expanding. You understand the connections between all things. Wow, some of you guys might be getting um, some really intense um, psychic downloads um, as of lately. So that's something to keep in mind, okay? Um, let's see what else we got. So I'm going to be pulling you um, an animal oracle, okay? to see what more um, we might have with um, in terms of themes, okay, for pile one in February. Ooh, okay, beautiful. We have the butterfly. We have emerging. Take the leap of faith. 
Wow. Okay. So in combination with soul expansion, and then we've also got, um, we have also have butterfly emerging. There may be something to do with you guys, um, feeling like you're finally coming out of your cocoon. Okay. You're finally coming out of your cocoon in a way that feels like I'm getting some of you guys are finally able to manifest also being more social um expanding yourself okay mentally emotionally physically and spiritually in February I see a lot of um socializing as well a lot of um feeling more psychic okay is what I'm getting like psychic downloads feeling more um spiritual okay um let's see so next let us get into Something to expect when it comes to, um, in general, okay, in February, another theme here, overall theme. In general, let's see what else we got coming for group one, okay. So, ooh, we have three. Oh, wow, we got three that popped out, um, all at once. So, let's see what we got. Okay, so we have children, okay, so we have raising your children we have helping or working with children starting a family emotionally immature behavior okay so some of you guys might either be dealing with um connecting more with your children either maybe conceiving some of you guys might be getting pregnant some of you guys might also be um i'm getting for a lot of you guys finally connecting with your inner child more um like i said like being social okay um, allowing yourself to um, connect with your true desires more like your inner child um, you know this comes um, hand in hand with the soul ex expansion as well as emerging from your cocoon um, but there's something to do with children here coming through um, I'm getting Gemini energy as well here okay that's interesting okay and then next we have crystal ball Events taking place in the future, inner knowing, occult and esoteric knowledge, stepping into your spiritual power. Yeah, okay, some of you guys are quite spiritual. Maybe you guys are into metaphysical subjects as well, um, like tarot and astrology, or um, some of you guys are into witch talk, okay? Um, but I am getting that some of you guys are getting very, um, you know, more um, psychic downloads, like you're seeing synchronicities. Maybe some of you guys have seen butterflies. Some of you guys are maybe... Um, joining like a more spirit like a spiritual community or um, may maybe getting more in tune with your spirituality as well as connecting more with your inner child and maybe connecting more with um your true desires like i mentioned earlier um, and then we have phoenix rising from the ashes we have being offered a second chance the end of despair what was lost is being restored wow okay so some of you guys like i said I'm strongly getting that you guys, some of you guys, you get a lot of tarot readings or you are, um, lately been, you've been searching for some kind of truth, okay, spiritually, it's coming through very strongly and that's why I'm getting that some of you guys, um, you're going to feel really relieved in February. I'm getting, you're going to be seeing, like I said, lots of signs and synchronicities and reaching some really big epiphany when it comes to your true desires and some kind of truth will be revealed in february something to do with manifesting okay like maybe you have some big dream some goal that you've been manifesting and sort of it's been buzzing around you for a while now some of you guys are finally going to be getting i don't know why i'm hearing opportunity is going to be flying towards you kind of like a butterfly or kind of like um in the form of a psychic download or maybe even there's something to do with a child maybe in your life or like i said you're um, getting more spiritually in tune with yourself your inner child but also there's something to do with a child here that's important like maybe even a sibling okay um and gemini energy is coming through again we have also got scorpio energy as well here um but there's something to do with maybe connecting with a sibling or like a really good childhood friend that will bring you closer to your um, manifestation goals here. Um, there's something to do with that theme coming through really strongly. Okay, so let's see what else we've got. Okay, so let's see what we have going on in your finances or career. Let's see. Finances or career. Okay. In February, finances or career. Let's see what we've got. Okay, so we have a couple, okay. We had a couple come through. Okay, so we have speak and slow down. 
Take center stage, speak at events, conferences, and workshops. Share your message and transform lives through your work. Yeah, there's something to do with maybe an opportunity at work, like maybe um, a leadership role or some kind of small project that you think, oh, this is just like a small extra thing that I'm doing, but will possibly lead you to a leadership role. Um, maybe even in February or in the coming months ahead, I'm hearing um, some leadership opportunity or um, some opportunity to like speak at an event. Uh, maybe someone will ask you to speak at a major event that they're hosting. So this is great. Like look out for this kind of opportunity at work or around you. Even if it seems small, I hear it is going to lead to much better things and a lot of abundance. So it's definitely an opportunity to watch out for that might be um, very important coming up. Next, we've got slow down. Sometimes you need to slow down, get out of overwhelm, refresh and regroup in order to speed up your results. Yeah, there's something to do with, like I said, um, connecting with yourself more spiritually, your true desires. This might be a question to ask yourself in February or maybe you've already been um, sort of asking yourself that you're coming more um, in tune with lately or becoming more in tune with lately is have I been overstretching myself to the point where I'm losing sight of my inner child? But I'm hearing that in February, you will get a chance to maybe take a break or maybe you can schedule a break for yourself, delegate, and also really connect with, okay, what do I really want? Okay, like irregardless of, regardless of what I need to do for others, my responsibilities at work or, um, you know, everyone else, like, um, obviously this isn't saying neglect your children, but it's more so saying like connect with your inner child and without, you know, everyone breathing down your neck or, you know, um, needing you for this and that, and, you know, um, you having to fulfill like maybe even a bucket list, um, or excuse me, not a bucket list, but a list, maybe a bucket list of things that have been just been circulating around you, buzzing around you in terms of, um, to-do lists. Like if, you know, with all that out of the way, you should ask yourself um what do i really need right now emotionally mentally physically and spiritually and how do i communicate that to myself and to people around me um i'm also hearing some of you guys are mothers like you have a lot of children or you feel like maybe even you've been dealing with people who might be a little bit immature as well i'm getting a need to maybe um allow yourself to step back from that energy allow yourself to communicate your needs like even if it's as simple as saying um you know, I have this goal and I really need to set up these boundaries. Are you going to um, help me do this? And if not, maybe it's time to finally put your foot down. But I'm getting that in February, a lot of you guys are going to get a chance to um, really put down those boundaries and as well as um, something to do with transformation and also a glow up. Maybe some of you guys are focusing more on self-care, but like I said, this is about um, putting yourself first, maybe um, spiritually, emotionally, mentally, physically. If you haven't been putting yourself first, I'm seeing in February, you will be getting a chance to do that um, as well as getting um, possibly a big leadership opportunity as well, okay? Um, I'm seeing coming through here for you guys, so that's really beautiful. Okay, so let's see what we have um, coming for you in love okay let's get some major themes here and we will clarify with the tarot um if there's anything here that we want to get more clarity on i will be clarifying with the um tarot deck that you guys have chosen so let's see what we got okay so we have pda okay for love we have touching you lovingly public display of affection sweet gestures okay so some of you guys i'm getting um valentine's day is coming up so some of you guys might be um focusing more on getting comfortable like if you guys are dating um there's something to do with pda coming through really strongly like i'm getting maybe um your partner will be showing you more pda maybe they'll be sending you like um a giant um uh, what is it, um, like a delivery of roses, okay, that could be PDA too, like showing the world, like, okay, this is my person, and I want to do all these nice things for my person, I'm getting a lot of romantic gestures coming your way, maybe even a secret admirer showing you affection in February, I'm also seeing some of you guys are going to be making it official, 
sometime in February. If you're seeing someone and you want to elevate the relationship, I'm getting here that, yeah, that will definitely be coming in February. There's also um, an opportunity for you in February to voice your needs. Like if you want to make things official or if you want to make, um, you know, like show more public displays of affection or whatever it is, you know, voicing your needs is going to be major here. And it's really going to allow yourself to get what you need is what I'm getting. And February is a really good time for that. Um, okay, so we had some more, another card um, pop up here. So we have here um, equality, okay? Mutual respect, equal give and take, needs are both important. So I'm seeing here in love, some of you guys are either going to be meeting somebody new or maybe this is like a current partner that um, they're going to be appreciating you more. You're going to be appreciating each other more. Um, I don't know why I'm hearing some of you guys are going to be receiving a gift. Um, but this is all about maybe focusing on you more um, when if the um, focus has been on maybe other people, your partner or different things in your life. I'm getting like the spotlight is going to be on you in February very strongly. Okay, so we have this card also pop out. So we have Innocence. Yeah, connecting with your inner child is major in February. We have triggers, your inner child, playfulness and teasing, puppy love phase. Ooh, there's something to do with um, you and somebody you're dating or maybe you'll meet someone new in February who will allow you... Oh my gosh, we have children twice. So I'm getting like really strong Gemini, Libra or Pisces energy, but um, especially Gemini. I'm getting that, yes, you guys are going to be connecting with your inner child more, possibly meeting someone romantically who makes you feel like you can put your hair down and just be yourself you know like when you're children you know um so we have innocence and children so we have like yeah something to do with you just being able to like say what's on your mind like voice your opinions okay um and just be yourself without fear of um you know being vulnerable without fear of being judged and i'm getting some of you guys are going to be meeting somebody in february or your current um someone that you're dating right now, you're really going to be connecting in this um, energy with them and something to do with children. I'm getting some of you guys, you're going to be meeting your partner's children or you're going to be discussing your future children or maybe if this is um, you're dating someone and it's getting more serious, I'm getting the conversation of children might come up. I'm also getting those of you who are already in committed partnerships, there's something to do with children. So maybe talks of conceiving, uh, maybe you guys will conceive, you guys will be getting pregnant, okay? Um, there's something to do with also planting a seed now that leads to some kind of abundance, it leads to more um, connectivity, and it also leads to something to do with, yeah, some kind of growth in the future as well with the children. Um, I'm seeing a lot of abundance. So something I'm seeing that something you do now, either it's something you voice or some kind of opportunity, whether this is in love or career, whatever it is, something that you do now, like, like I said, um, a seed that you plant, it's going to multiply and grow in the future in the months ahead. Um, but yes, like I said, some of you guys, you might be even introducing um, your children to a new partner, romantic partner. There's definitely some theme of children or connecting with your inner child more or connecting maybe even with things that you loved as a child or maybe even um there's something to do with maybe even connecting with old friends as well but yes gemini libra and pisces is coming through with the double um uh, symbolism here so next let's get into okay let's get into some astrological oracle cards okay so astrology oracle, oh, okay, that's way too many. So I'm just going to be taking the ones that actually flipped over and decided, okay, I need to show myself. So we have some that actually flipped over on their own. So let's look at those. Okay, so we've got Aries. Some of you guys have Aries energy. Fierce, assertive, selfish, rebellious, daring, competitive, speed, leader, pioneer, stubborn, impulsive, and warrior. Yeah, some of you guys I'm getting, like I said, there's a strong focus on yourself in February and you're going to be allowed to do that a lot more, okay? Like I said, if you've been focusing on your partner, your children, your work, um, you know, everything around you but yourself, I'm getting in February, there's going to be like an opportunity where you get that leadership opportunity, okay, to be a bit selfish, to finally just, you know, I don't know why I'm hearing some of you guys are going to be saying to yourselves, okay, this is what I want right now and <laughs> nothing's going to get in my way because I really want this. And you know what? Sometimes it's okay to be a little bit selfish, especially if you've been, you feel like you've been focusing on everything but yourself, okay? This is something that I think 
in February you're really going to be able to do and you're I'm feeling that you're going to be feeling of um the strong emotion of release and of feeling free okay is what I'm getting we have Sagittarius some of you guys have Sagittarius in your astrology so yeah we've got exploration traveling some of you guys are going to be making travel plans um finally um you know with COVID clearing up maybe maybe not but you know we have some maybe some traveling learning something new okay maybe taking new classes for something I'm getting some of you guys are going to be learning some new skill whether this is painting um you know design maybe even knitting okay or um maybe taking on a new skill like learning something new okay like a new career path possibly um or maybe even going back to school for something okay and then we have the sun yeah so once again this is about the self okay leadership is coming through once again creativity um expression so yeah the ability to express yourself um, a lot better than you've been able to do okay um in the past is definitely coming through here in february yeah leadership role the focus on yourself your partner or whoever you're dating like you know kind of showering you with attention is what i'm getting or maybe even some of you guys are going to be um you know on valentine's day you'll have like multiple people like you know asking you out you know on valentine's day to like do something and you're going to be getting so much attention in february as well as um besides attention yeah like feeling childlike feeling free feeling fun okay and very social okay a lot more social than you've been in a while is what i'm getting and, um, you know, like I mentioned, psychic downloads, feeling um, more um, in tune with your spirituality and with your um, higher self is definitely what I'm getting. Fixed moon, okay, staying power, inflexibility, stuck, strong-willed, not backing down. Yeah, um, so fixed energy. Some of you guys have um, a fixed um, astrology. So Taurus, we've got Aquarius, uh Scorpio, we have Leo. So some of you guys, you I don't know why I'm hearing you guys have been had been sort of like repressing your um repressing your true desires, okay, for a while. Maybe you've been you haven't even been realizing it. But in February, I'm getting, yeah, you're gonna be able to be a bit stubborn and selfish and put your foot down and put your boundaries up and be, you know, more considerate of yourself in a healthy way because i'm getting for a lot of you guys you've been putting a lot of people first okay and not yourself first um but i do see yes career opportunities a lot of attention being showered on you i'm also hearing yes children is really important something to do with children okay is coming through okay so ooh, so i actually shuffled um the tarot and this one wanted to come up so we have for your tarot card we have the world okay so there's something to do really really strongly with travel okay like making travel plans or completing something like i said some of you guys in february you're going to be upgrading your relationship status you're going to be taking things to the next level making travel plans maybe even with your person something's going to be coming full cycle um watch out for um maybe discussing children introducing um your partner to your children or maybe they're introducing you to their children which is a really important step okay in moving forward because i know that's really important to a lot of people um and also i'm getting some of you guys are going to be completing something in february as well that you've been trying to manifest for a while um maybe you're going to be realizing okay this is my true path finishing up some skill that you're going to be really successful in and also feeling more intuitive and i want to tell you that if you feel like your inner compass has been trying to tell you something for a while now definitely listen because there's something to do with completion coming through either planting the seeds for completion or there's even something to do with like I said, upgrading. I don't know why I'm hearing upgrading, glowing up in multiple areas of your life in February, including leadership um, and love. You're going to be getting showered with attention, okay? And like I said, um, getting more in tune with what you really want, okay? Like in a world where let's say it's a perfect world and you could do and pursue and have whatever you want, you know, I think in February you will be coming to uh, more in terms of that and getting closer to whatever those things are and maybe even realizing what it is after uh, maybe you know putting a lot of other things first before yourself for a while now um so that's really wonderful i love this energy for you guys 
So like, comment, subscribe, share if this video resonated with you guys. And um, I just want to remind you, um, don't forget to hit that notification bell if you want to be reminded when I upload new videos like this one. So I will see you guys later, group one, love and light. And with that, I'm going to be moving straight into group two. Okay, so let's see, what do we have for group two? So those of you guys, group two, who've chosen this um, hort, this uh, deck with the horses on the back, or Pegasus. And then we've also got um, this beautiful um, palm stone, this rose quartz heart here. Okay, so. Okay, what do we got for February for you guys? Ooh, okay, let me move these actually. Okay, so I'm going to be pulling some major themes for you guys. Um, I'm going to be pulling you um, a, a deity oracle here. And this is um, regardless of whatever religion you actually practice. Um, this is just going to be an oracle um, with some deities that might inspire you, okay, at this moment. Okay, I'm going to be taking the one on top, okay, because this one was on top and this one definitely feeling some strong energies here and wanted to come through. Okay, so we have Buddha. We have Master Buddha. Increased awareness. We have deep connection. Trust your inner voice. Wow, yeah, in February, some of you guys are really going to be feeling this new moon in Aquarius, okay, very heavily, where you will be feeling a lot more intuitive. It's kind of like pile one, so some of you guys might want to go back and watch pile one if you're interested, but I'm getting some of you guys are going to be feeling um, a lot more psychic, okay, a lot more connected to your intuition, a lot more clear when it comes to your third eye chakra opening. There's something to do with, yes, themes of the third eye opening like maybe some of you guys are are having dreams you will be having dreams in february that are maybe even prophetic that might even point you in a really important direction okay so this one came out so we have honeybee okay so we've got divine feminine yeah you are being called on to rise and then we have divine feminine some of you guys are definitely going to be connecting a lot more with your divine feminine energy in february um and then as well with the buddha card um so the feminine um is represented by a lot of times we've got the moon we have um we have um you know femininity being receptive to um psychic downloads your intuition um you know femininity the moon and intuition these are things that all go hand in hand i'm getting in february you guys are really going to be connecting to that energy um, some of you guys, you might even be glowing up, okay, when it comes to, um, oh my gosh, you cannot write this, get out, okay, so we literally got the moon, and I just mentioned, you know, moon, uh, receptivity, being more in tune with your intuition, these are all things that go hand in hand, and I definitely see that, um, as a theme for you in February, and then we've also got fragmented, okay, so incomplete picture, splitting, too many things going on. So if this was your energy um, before February, I'm seeing in February, you're going to be finally letting your hair down. Um, maybe, you know, allowing yourself to get in more, get more in tune with your femininity, allowing yourself to feel, allowing yourself to get more in tune with your emotions, okay? And also more in tune with any kind, anything that your intuition has been pointing you to. Um, especially with the honeybee, she's like a queen bee energy. I don't know why I'm also hearing some of you guys are really going to be feeling, um, the effects of Venus, okay, that now that Venus is direct again, in February, you're really going to be feeling this. So some of you guys, Valentine's Day is going to be a really big day for you this, uh, this year, okay? Um, and it doesn't matter when you watch this, but I am, yeah, hearing the Valentine's Day is going to be really big for you. Oh my gosh, speaking of which, we have celebration. Okay, we have parties, social events, happy outcome, socializing, going out more. Yeah, some of you guys, um, February is going to be a really big day where uh, maybe your partner might be doing something like super romantic for you this year. Um, and I'm getting here that 
yeah, this is going to be a really big day and I'm getting some of you guys are going to be upgrading your love life a lot this year. So that's definitely something to look out for. Okay. So let's see what we have for your money and career. Okay. In February, let's see some major themes in February when it comes to, I'm also hearing some of you guys are going to be getting a bunch of roses. I'm also hearing someone is in love with you guys, some, someone out there, okay? And you might not even know it. They might not even be fully aware of it to like voice it into words, but they're already feeling it. Or maybe you feel intuitively or someone out there, maybe this is even multiple people um, with the honeybee, okay? Because the honeybee, um, we have this honeybee pollinating multiple flowers. So I'm getting with some of you guys, um, yeah, you've got a lot of secret admirers right now and... Maybe they they can already intuit that they will fall madly in love with you or vice versa, okay, is what I'm getting. Wow, some of you guys, wow. You've got a lot of Venus, uh, Venusian energy coming through, femininity. Like I said, some of you guys are glowing up. Like in February, some of you guys um, with Venus going direct now, um, there's a lot of romantic energy. Some of you guys I'm getting something to do with roses, like... Maybe some of you guys are going to start using rose oil, rose water, or like a rose perfume, and that's going to make you feel more romantic, more Venusian. Um, some of you guys are going to be maybe um, starting a new skincare routine um, now that Venus is direct. Yeah, exper experimenting more with your beauty, um, your looks, which, um, you know, it's not about superficiality, but it's really more so about like what makes you feel beautiful, you know, more connected to your divine feminine energy, which is really important. Um, if you identify as a feminine, this is vital, okay, for you to feel grounded and centered and, you know, it is important. And once again, it's not about looks, it's about, you know, you feeling in touch with yourself, okay, and confident, okay. So let's see what we got for career and money, okay, something coming through. We have automate, okay, develop ways to add passive income streams to your business so you don't have to work so hard. Earn some income while you sleep. So this is something, um coming through okay strongly um some of you guys are into crypto some of you guys you know nfts all that jazz um maybe even stocks okay this might be a good time in february to plant some seeds okay and by no means am i um a financial analyst i'm not licensed in you know that area but um you know those of you guys who are receptive to this um and once again, it's your choice ultimately, but I'm getting some of you guys might want to, if not plant seeds, either start researching um, ways to make passive income or, okay, so here we have, okay, here's some examples. We have stocks, we have royalties, we have bonds, we have um, residual income, affiliate marketing, uh, we have ebooks, okay? So yeah, figuring out maybe, um, asking yourself, okay, this is something you can ask yourself, like, what am I really, really good at and skilled at that, um, you know, I can actually do something with this, you know, whether it's your artistic abilities, maybe some of you guys are, I don't know why I'm hearing, um, Venus energy, so Taurus or Libra is coming through really strongly, um, or maybe even Cancerian energy with the moon, uh, maybe even high seas or Scorpio, but I'm getting a lot of Taurus and Libra especially, but I'm getting that some of you guys are good, um, skilled in the arts, skilled in design, maybe fashion design. Um, I'm getting some of you guys, you might be, uh, starting your own fashion vlog, like, um, you might be, um, you know, experimenting with being a beauty vlogger or maybe even a makeup artist or something to do with beauty. Okay. And also experimenting more with your own beauty in February. Um, and also, um, finding ways to actually um, generate passive income through this and maybe even researching, yeah, um, um, crypto for those of you guys who, you know, who actually um, have, um, you know, enough to invest in these things, maybe just researching stocks. So maybe starting with research, okay? Um, but maybe, you know, even taking it further, those of you guys who um, are into that, um, but more so I'm getting for some reason, being able to make money or maybe a new opportunity um, or maybe even a side hustle, like a creative side hustle with something that you're good at when it comes to the arts and um, beauty related things is um, strongly coming through here. So yeah, this is coming through. This is definitely coming through, okay? It's something that you should definitely be looking out for. I'm getting. So next, let's see what we got for 
love, okay? What do we have coming through for love? Because I'm sensing some really strong energies, okay? When it comes to your love life. Oh, okay, we had one just fly out. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, so we have here, ooh, okay, so we've got sexual desire. Sex is more important. Every meeting turns sexual, constant sexual fantasy. Okay, so I'm getting that some of you guys, you might have had some partners in the past, or maybe this is even currently, um, where you felt like, okay, like, I am not, um, or maybe you felt like saying to them, like, I know you're attracted to me, but I really want to elevate this more to something that is just beyond, you know, the physical. Or maybe even you might meet someone or maybe you're already seeing someone where you're going to be elevating that part of your relationship in a way that is like on fire, basically. There's something to do with, yeah, upping the ante when it comes to romance, when it comes to passion, okay? Um, all things Venusian, okay, I'm getting in February is going to be amped up times like 10, okay? Um, especially those of you guys, um, you know, you've, ch you chose the rose quartz, but you can't write this. It's like these themes that are coming through. I'm getting so much romantic energy, passion, especially with the roses, desire. Okay. So some of you guys who are already dating, or like I said, some of you guys, um, you're attracting a lot of people in February and some of you guys, you might even be like, what? Like I haven't been, you know, attracting anyone really. So where's this coming from? You know, well to that, I say like, don't question it because it's something in your energy I'm getting. Like you're doing something with yourself in February, especially I'm getting that's like a glow up. Okay. Energetically that just makes you like magnetic in a way that maybe you haven't felt. Okay. Before February, there's something to do with, yeah, glowing up, connecting more with things that are Venusian. Okay. With your beauty, I'm amplifying your beauty, but in a way that makes you feel more in touch with your divine feminine, okay? And then here we have some um, astrological cards. Okay, so we have, you're meant to fulfill your divine contract. Okay, there's something to do with some lucrative contract coming through. Like I said, some of you guys, you do something creative um, when it comes to the arts or something beauty related that you will be making um, money or some kind of abundance off of or planting seeds, okay, in a way that it's going to bring you abundance. So if you have some skill or talent or hobby that you're really good at, or this is even investing in yourself, you know, like when it comes to your femininity, like maybe even you want to invest more in your own skincare, um, fitness, health, you know, eating more healthy. Um, maybe even you want to start eating health smoothies, but you know, obviously, um, being mindful of, you know, um, allergies and stuff because you want to be safe. Um, but I'm getting something to do with binding yourself to this and making a commitment to investing in yourself, um, and things that make you feel you know, more feminine, more um, connected to your divine feminine, more in tune with Venus, okay, is what I'm getting strongly in February, and it's really going to change your life um, for the better I'm getting, and make you also feel more confident, okay, and more in tune, like I said, with your intuition as well, there's something to do with also openness, like you're feeling more, I'm getting you're feeling more receptive in February, um, especially with Venus going direct, you're going to be feeling more receptive to love, attracting people, okay? I don't know why I'm also hearing some of you guys are going to be attracting all kinds of people that you might have not considered in the past. Or maybe you felt like, oh, that person's not really into me. But for some reason, like, you'll find out that actually there's, like, quite a few people who've had their eyes on you. And I'm getting especially around Valentine's Day. Some of these secret admirers are going to be coming out of the woodwork and coming out to tell you or maybe hint in like drop in hints that they've been attracted to you for quite a while now. Yeah, maybe some of you guys even years where like a friend comes forward and you thought, you know, they're not really into you like you're just friends. But I'm getting some of you guys um, for a lot of you guys are going to be stepping forward. Okay. I'm hearing, um, yeah, planting seeds when it comes to something romantic, beauty related, all things Venus related. With Venus, you know, you've got love, you've got friendship, passion, you have um, harmony, you know, things like that, beauty, okay? Um, divine feminine energy, romance. Oh my gosh, okay, I wasn't expecting this card to come through, but we have Black Moon Lilith. Ooh, okay, this is a complex card energy so we have rebellion seduction and affair the other woman man shame envy rejection revenge mystery darkness sexuality stand in your own truth so i'm getting here some of you guys you are going to be 
breaking some hearts in February. I'm sorry, I gotta say it. I'm just gonna be direct. Some of you guys are gonna be, um, maybe not intentionally breaking hearts, but um, you're gonna be open to a lot of romance and passion. And like I said, a lot of you guys, you've got multiple people who are actually admiring you secretly, and you might even catch wind of it or um, see hints, or someone might even send you flowers, okay, on Valentine's Day, multiple people even, okay, for some of you guys and you didn't even expect it. You're like, what? I thought we were just friends. Like, I didn't think you were into me. Like, <laughs> or, you know, like we just, you know, went out for coffee a few times. Like, I didn't know you were into me or at least not to this extent, but some of these people are going to be coming out of the woodwork to express how they feel for you. And maybe even, even if it's not intentional, you will be having to break hearts, maybe just by having to like narrow down like the people that are into you. Like maybe some of you guys are even, um, having to make a big decision when it comes to love. Like I'm getting for a big chunk of you guys, group two, that someone's going to want to make things official or like move the upgrade things to the next level. And so if you've been seeing anyone else or maybe even, um, their secret admirers, like on the side, I'm getting some of you guys will have to, um, you know, come clean to them. Like, okay, well, I'm kind of serious now with someone. So, you know, like breaking that to them. I'm getting a lot of you guys will be having to do that in February, um, which is why you will be um, breaking hearts, okay? Um, breaking hearts a bit more, okay, than you're used to definitely is coming through in February. Okay, so uh, let's pull a tarot card for you guys to see what more we have to expect um, or we've got to expect in February. This is major, I see a lot of romance, all things Venusian. Yeah, definitely um, look it up if you want to um, look into it further. Okay, and then, oh my gosh, yep. What do you know? We got the Knight of Wands. This is about, yeah, passion writing in. This is about in February, maybe even meeting someone who really got your blood pumping, if you know what I mean, when it comes to passion, okay? I'm getting also something to do with Something to do with um, maybe even having to keep it secret for a little while because maybe even this is a office romance, okay? I'm not condoning this, obviously, quote unquote. Um, you know, let's be ethical here. <laughs> but um, when it comes to, yeah, there's something to do with maybe having to like keep things a little bit secret or maybe some of you guys, you either like got out of a relationship recently or this person I'm getting, um, there's someone that maybe you'll align with in February who just got out of a relationship or maybe, um, got divorced not that long ago or something like that is what I'm hearing. And you're going to have to sort of keep things a little bit secret, but I'm also for some reason, oh my gosh, with Black Moon, Lil Black Moon Lilith, with, which is a very contrarian energy. I'm getting that some of you guys, like, even if you have to keep it a little bit secret at first, like, the other person is not going to want to do that. I don't know why I'm hearing like they're going to want to really like show you off, really like make a big um, romantic, um, you know, dramatic theatric ordeal, especially around Valentine's Day or maybe even towards the end of February where they're not going to want to keep things quiet. Um, but for some reason, I'm hearing that um, it might be wise to keep things a little bit quiet, like especially if you're fresh out of a relationship or they are. Um, just be smart about it is what I'm hearing. But I am seeing, yeah, a lot of romance, a lot of passion. Maybe um, for some of you guys, um, you'll be aligning with someone in February that you just never felt this amount of passion for anyone before is what I'm getting. This is really big. And I'm also hearing that there's something to do with your deepest desires being fulfilled, okay, by this person or coming to an alignment with something, even if it's like something that you're passionate about, like deeply passionate about and getting you'll definitely be aligning with that purpose. And like I said, this is something to do with the arts, okay? This is something that you're good at when it comes to, um, you know, making things beautiful or something to do with like Venus, okay? It's coming through, creating harmony, beauty in the world. You're gonna be um, coming to terms with something that you're really passionate about and and I'm getting an opportunity to generate income, okay, to make money off of this, like a side hustle. Like I said, for example, this could be like um, being a makeup artist, art, okay, um, beauty vlogging, fashion, okay, something related to the art. You know, creating harmony, okay, is what I'm getting is really major here. So this is beautiful. I love this. So like, comment, subscribe, share if this video resonated with you guys. And I just want to remind you, um, don't forget to hit that notification bell if you want to be alerted when I upload new videos like this one, group two. So I will see you guys later, group two, love and light. So I'm moving straight into group three. Let's see what we got for group three. 
Okay, last but not least, group three. Okay, so we have this um, tarot deck here, and then we've also got um, this beautiful earthy um, moss agate, <laughs> which it took me a while to figure out earlier, but there we have it, moss agate. It's, it's just beautiful. It reminds me of earth, okay? I mean, it really does. It's just, oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. It's one of my favorite palm stones. Um, and I've really been into palm stones lately. I don't know why that's coming through. Some of you guys, you might be connecting more with nature, with the earth is what I'm getting. Okay, so I'm going to be pulling you a deity oracle to see what deity wants to come through for you for a major theme in February, okay, for group three. Let's see what we got. And this is regardless of whatever religion you practice. This is um, more of like an energy that wants to come through um, in February. Okay, so we have faith. So we've got humanity and benevolence. This also reminds me of the charity card in tarot, um, which is one of the um, ancient tarot decks that was actually um, sort of unofficially taken out of the tarot. But um, okay, but anyways, we have faith, humanity, and benevolence. We have stay calm, trust the good in yourself and others, see the light in the world. Yeah, there's something to do with some of you guys maybe even volunteering, getting a chance to show um, maybe some compassion for other people in a way that I don't know why I'm also hearing though. Um, not saying that you're doing it for the spotlight, for but for some reason I'm hearing that you'll be spotlighted for being um, a very kind-hearted, compassionate person. Like I'm getting a lot of you guys, you already... Uh, maybe some of you guys have Aquarian energy, Libra energy, uh, Virgo energy as well. Maybe Piscean energy. Pisces is really big when it comes to this compassion sort of energy here. Maybe some of you guys volunteer at the animal shelter. You help the needy. You participate in humanitarian causes or something that's already sort of um, going on. I'm getting you'll be spotlighted for that in February or there's something major here with that. I'm getting some of you guys, you might even get an opportunity to organize something um, when it comes to causes that you're passionate about, when it comes to humanitarian causes. And like I said, Aquarian and Pisces energy is coming through really strong. Uh, maybe even Libra as well or Virgo um, because those are um, Virgo is also related to service. So let's see um, an animal oracle card that wants to come through here for February. So another major three theme, animal oracle card. Okay. Oh my gosh, beautiful. We have swan. Some of you guys are graceful, okay? Some of you guys are becoming more graceful in February. Or I'm, I'm hearing that someone's going to admire you and say to someone else, like, wow, he or she is so graceful or like full of grace, okay? So we have graceful transformation. Soften your heart and find your flow. So Pisces energy is coming through so strongly as well as Taurus and Libra. But um, I don't know why Pisces is coming through so strong with the compassion. And then we have the swan and going with the flow is very Piscean. Um, but, you know, you've also chosen this sort of like earthy stone. So Taurus is coming through as well. Venusian energy, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, Libra is also Venus, Venusian. Okay, so let's get into another general theme to expect in February, okay? general theme for group three please in february what should they expect okay so we have round and round okay so this is something to do with letting go of old patterns this one also wants to come out so we have yeah stepping stone beautiful taking one step at a time don't rush the journey gradually gradually building on success the start of something bigger yeah some of you guys are going to be breaking a major cycle here a major cycle when it comes to, okay, yeah, bottom of the deck. Oh, actually, oh my gosh. Actually, I don't know why I said bottom of the deck and ended up pulling from the top, but let's take this because this felt intuitive. We have karmic cycle, settling scores in this life, karmic relationship, karmic patterns, negative cycles, personal growth. So yeah, oh my gosh, you can't write this. So we have round and round, stepping stone, and karmic cycle. So I'm getting some of you guys in February, you will be finally stepping into an energy where you'll be cutting ties with a karmic circle cycle or maybe even like patterns that you felt like am i ever going to be be able to break free of this you will be this is even like cutting addictions this could even be like smoking excuse me um food addiction this could even be like relationships this could even be maybe even someone at your job who just annoys the crap out of you i'm getting something to do with like then maybe even being removed from the situation by some divine stroke of luck or maybe you will be able to remove yourself from that situation and have things a lot better but this is to do with some like round and round cycle that you wanted to be rid of okay um some of you guys in february i'm hearing you will be paying your karmic debts 
fully in February um, where you will be able to move on to better things. Um, but there is something to do with showing compassion, maybe even for others, yourself, going with the flow because I don't know why I'm being channeled to tell you guys things are going to work out, okay? Just go with the flow. Things will work out. Just follow your intuition. I don't know why I'm hearing to tell you guys this. If this is like a job environment or relationship patterns or something around you that you just feel kind of trapped, I'm for some reason hearing just go with the flow, follow your intuition and follow where your intuition takes you because it is going to work out, okay? It will work out is what I'm hearing. And especially with Stepping Stone, the start of something bigger and then personal growth. So I'm hearing something really beautiful unfolding in February and this is just the start is definitely what I'm hearing. So let's see what we have for money and career. So what major themes do we have for money and career in February? Let's see, money and career. Okay, we have strategize, beautiful. We have marketing and then strategy. We have results are not coming fast enough. You need a solid step-by-step -step strategy in place that takes the guest work out of growing your business. So there's something to do with some of you guys strategizing a lot more in February um, where you'll be marketing yourself more, okay? Marketing yourself in ways that you feel you haven't tried before, whether it's putting out an ad campaign or maybe even some of you guys like you have a fashion vlog, but maybe you're upping the ante. Okay, this is just an example. Some of you guys, you might be influencers, but you are upping the game when it comes to marketing, like maybe trying something new, trying a new strategy, maybe, um, like I said, launching an ad campaign, maybe even seeking help or advice from others to figure out how you can improve your marketing, okay? Coming to a unified vision, okay? That is another thing when it comes to marketing strategy is what I'm getting, um, coming through pretty heavily, especially those of you guys who might even work in marketing um, or like um, advertisement is for some reason coming through you're really going to be with stepping stone you're going to be building something big and this is just a start i don't know why i'm hearing this is just the start and this is just the start of you breaking free of some pattern or something that's been just like bothering you and you're like why does this keep happening but it's like i'm not hearing this is something like major but i'm for some reason hearing like something that's been in the back of your mind that you're like okay, like, when am I going to be able to break free of this? Maybe, like I said, this is just an annoying coworker, or like something that's just been bothering you in the back of your mind, and you're just like, oh my gosh, I'm fed up. Well, in February, oh my gosh, I see a big breakthrough. I see you guys, um, I'm being channeled to tell you, just follow your intuition, because this is just a start with the stepping stone, um, especially with strategy. I'm hearing you're making a plan and in February, you will be getting a breakthrough opportunity to follow that plan, to follow the stepping stone and to follow where it leads you because it is going to lead to something big and it is going to lead to you fulfilling your dreams. But I'm getting for some reason, this is just a start and it all starts with being more compassionate to yourself, listening to yourself more, to your own intuition more is what I'm getting for some reason. Like, I don't know why I'm hearing a lot of you guys. There's this theme around... Other people telling you what to do or like other people sort of like exerting their opinion on you, like almost assuming that they know better, okay? But I'm getting for some reason like in February, there's going to be some major opportunity for you to shed that sort of cycle or shed that pattern, especially when it comes to, like I said, like making a plan for yourself, following your own intuition and ultimately following your following and allowing yourself to listen to yourself when it comes to your own inner compass and strategizing in a way that... It begins here and it starts now, but like something big, okay? When it comes to manifesting your dreams, this could be anything. Like I'm also hearing some of you guys, you are very humanitarian. You're very compassionate at heart. Like I said, Aquarius and Pisces energy coming through, Taurus, Libra as well. Um, you guys are, some of you guys, you work in like a service related industry, like, um, or you work in nursing, counseling, or you're pursuing that. In February, you will be getting a breakthrough opportunity. I'm getting a lot of you guys to pursue this path, okay? And it's going to be big. Um, here, it literally says the start of something bigger. So just know that bigger things are coming, but it's up to you to take that initiative to follow your intuition, okay? It's something, there's something big with following your intuition, okay? Yeah, this is major. Okay, so let's see what major themes are coming in love, okay, when it comes to February. There's something to do with 
Yes, like being more compassionate with yourself, okay, is what I'm getting. Ooh, yeah, speaking of self-compassion, like I just said, and the acceptance card comes up. Valuing, valuing differences, accepting the good and bad, loving them fully. So I'm getting here that some of you guys, um, there's something to do with someone stepping forward, or maybe this is even you, like accepting yourself more when it comes to your romantic partners, your romantic past. This is also to do with someone maybe even coming back from the past that, um, and you can discount anyone that's like toxic, okay? Um, if they come forward and you're like, nope, I don't want any of that, obviously it's your choice to reject them, okay? I'm just gonna say it bluntly. But, um, you know, with the acceptance card, I'm getting there's someone in the past maybe that you felt like is the one that got away or you felt like things just didn't work out due to some kind of misunderstanding or external factors beyond both of your control. This person might be coming forward um to maybe yeah state okay there's something that maybe apologizing for something is what i'm getting like someone's going to be coming forward and apologizing to you about something um but this is also to do with like i said self-acceptance when it comes to your past okay romantic relationships um some of you guys just based on um this image in the card some of you guys you will be maybe meeting somebody new who is of a different background from you, whether that's um, socioeconomically, racially, religiously, whatever it is, um, you know, different religion, different socioeconomic background, different, you know, culture, whatever it is, you will be um, meeting someone new, I'm getting in February. Um, and with the, um, the start of something bigger that we got earlier, stepping stone card, I'm getting this is just a start. So a lot of you guys, yeah, you will be meeting someone um, who might have even been eyeing you for a while like this person like a secret admirer might be stepping forward but this person um comes from a different background from you and it doesn't have to be racially like in this image it could be culturally it could be um socially economically it could even be that maybe you're in school and you're studying like drastically different majors like maybe they are let's say like studying industrial engineering and you're like studying fashion you know like something different um you know that could even be the case as well um because that's definitely coming through so let's see what we have for, let's pull some astrology cards here to see what might be coming through, okay? Ooh, okay, so we've got mutable moon. We have nothing is set in stone, stay adoptable, lack staying power, something is changing, not final, unstable situation, scattered energy. So yeah, with the mutable moon and then we have round and round, I'm getting some of you guys are finally going to be coming to terms with some cycle, okay, karmic cycle, where it's like a repeating cycle that you felt like, I'm having trouble breaking free of this. Well, in February, some kind of epiphany or opportunity or something is gonna be coming where you finally feel like you're able to break free of patterns, okay? And this could be even, like I said, in the form of someone stepping forward, okay? And maybe showing you, okay, uh, moving forward, like showing you things that you can fix about yourself when it comes to relationship patterns or maybe even um, like I said earlier, um, self-compassion, okay? Finally accepting, acceptance in that you're accepting various aspects of yourself that you felt like maybe you were in a cycle of not being able to accept or um, maybe even self-sabotage in the past is what I'm getting. Um, something to do with like a karmic, okay? Maybe some of you guys, you've been struggling with a karmic energy, okay? Um, or someone who's been demanding too much of you is what I'm getting. A lot of you guys, you're empaths, okay? is what I'm getting. And some of you guys are finally gonna be breaking free of this person and moving on to a new energy, okay? Um, a new energy, like I said, you'll be meeting someone new or maybe if this is like a current partnership I'm getting, you'll be focusing on something new, okay? Improving your relationship. But I'm really strongly getting that you guys are moving on to bigger, better things. And this all starts with radical self-acceptance, -accept following your own inner voice, okay, is what I'm getting. There's something to do with also, I don't know if I'm hearing gaslighting, like some of you guys were gaslighted in the past in pre a previous relationship or maybe even a few, and this has something to do with a pattern, okay, that happened in the past that maybe um, sometimes causes you to forget your own inner voice, like what is your inner voice telling you, but I'm getting in February, you will be getting the opportunity, and also in surprising ways, finding um, yourself, listening to yourself more, following... Uh, following your own intuition more and you're going to be surprised at the results 
and it's going to lead to something beautiful. Um, this energy here, okay, is what I'm getting. There's also something to do with, yes, just accepting yourself more. And you would be shocked how much that does for your life. Because you know how some people say like your outer world um, is a reflection of your inner world. Um, well, self-acceptance leads to more acceptance um, externally as well. Um, but this isn't something that's going to happen like overnight. This is, like I said, with a stepping stone energy. This comes with repetition and um, practice, okay? And sometimes it's going to feel uncomfortable, but accepting ourselves isn't always something that comes easily, okay? Um, for everyone, because, you know, we all have, we all, you know, none of us have like a perfect um, life. None of us have like a perfect um, psychology, okay? Or else, you know, we wouldn't have psychologists and um, therapists and whatnot. Okay, and then we also got sun, okay? So this is beautiful. So this is one of the most positive energies that can come through. We have leadership, happiness, creativity, confidence, spirit, ego, self-awareness, and expression. So yeah, this is about breaking karmic cycles, okay? I don't know why I'm hearing like finally, um, reaching that light at the end of the tunnel i don't know why i'm hearing some of you guys you felt like you were wandering okay for a while in february you finally see the light at the end of the tunnel you see you see the light and i'm getting a lot of you guys are going to be finally stepping into the light but this is just the start okay this is just the stepping stone is strongly what i'm getting but this is a really beautiful energy there's also something to do with swans coming through swans um can also signify yeah grace transformation, um, maybe even, I don't know why I'm hearing like a year from now, a lot of you guys are going to have glown up. Okay. And it all starts in February. There's something major happening in February that allows for this major glow up. Okay. Okay. And then, oh my gosh. Yeah. We got the 10 of cups for your tarot card. So the 10 of cups, this is about dreams coming true and then some so what did i say you guys it all starts now there's something to do with accepting yourself breaking karmic cycles following your own intuition okay um self-compassion and also radical self self-acceptance allows more acceptance from your external external world but um like i said this all starts with the self with inner work and in february i'm getting something major will happen when it comes to an opportunity um emotionally mentally physically spiritually love career um maybe even spiritually yeah something's coming in that allows for this ten of cups energy and some of you guys are going to be meeting someone in february or something's going to happen where you were pushed closer to someone in february um that leads to this energy this is beautiful um we have acceptance and then we have the ten of cups this is about your dreams coming true when it comes to love but um yeah definitely look out for signs and synchronicities especially when it comes to swans graceful things um there's something to do with spreading your wings and moving on to bigger better better things with the stepping stone that we got earlier but um this is a really beautiful energy i love this so like comment subscribe share if this video resonates with you group three and i just want to remind you don't forget to hit that notification button Bell to be alerted when I upload new videos like this one. So I will see you guys later. Group three, love and light.